everybody. I was going to have a beer with you, um, but I just have to finish up fixing a printer here first. As, um, as an IT guy, it's always printers to fix. So I'm just going to show you a special way to fix up an old inkjet printer. And uh, let me get my printer fixing tools out here. First, eye protection, ear protection, and hand protection. Today, I'm going to try note Alexander Keys Dark Ale. This was originally released in limited amount of pubs as uh, Alexander Keys Stag's Head Stout. Never saw it in a pub anywhere near me, but uh, that's okay. They released it as Keith's Dark, which I think is a better name than Stout for this beer. Good pour going here. Oh, a little messy. A little bit of an ugly pour. Hold on, hold on. Stay on target. There we go. Beautiful dark color, as you can see. Kind of a tan head. A little bit, a uh, little bit of creamy looking in the head. Not too much. We'll uh, let that settle for a sec and I'll tell you what the bottle says. Uh, Keith's Dark is crafted using roasted specialty malts to create a dark mahogany color. Check. Uh, distinct notes of chocolate and coffee. Smooth tasting dark ale is brewed to the same uncompromising standards as Alexander Keith's fine beers. And that is 4.1 alcohol or 4.1 percent alcohol per volume. Let's have a smell of this thing and see how it smells. You can really smell the chocolate in there a little. Almost sort of a coffee mocha chocolate sort of smell. You smell a little bit of two-stroke exhaust. Let's go right to the taste. Extra roasted. It's the first thing that comes to mind. It's like they were roasting some nice malts and then somebody forgot that they already roasted them and they ran them through again. It's a little bit it's like over roasted malt almost. Definite overtones of coffee. Um, pretty thin mouthfeel. Kinda okay. Not getting any of that chocolate they're bragging about. Head's going away pretty quick. I think. Yeah, it's a good thing they didn't call this a stout because uh, it's nowhere near a real stout. Nice color, I'd give them, uh, you know, points for trying a dark beer finally. But uh, out of five, scale of five, I would say about one and a half. So I can recommend if you're really, really curious, but otherwise go with the Rickards Dark because it's far superior. Uh, plus, something I noticed, they're only doing these single big cans. And these cost almost as much as a bottle of Fuller's London Porter, so the math just doesn't work out.
Till next time, good luck with your printers and uh, enjoy your beers. Please, out of a glass, you can really get a good taste. Cheers.